Hello and good evening, this is uh, Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to get your WordPress data into Power BI. You will be able to get, for example, all your posts, your post titles, uh, you will be able to get uh, comments, uh, how many comments, who wrote those posts and tons and tons of more uh, information. So let's start. So more often than not, WordPress installations are run on MySQL databases. So you might be wondering why do I actually need this video when there is a MySQL database an import connector. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because not all the WordPress websites use MySQL and uh, depending on your host you might not be able to access it because they are blocking your IP it could be or you are hosting it yourself and you have using you're using another database and you don't have a connector to that so this is more like a universal solution for importing WordPress no matter where you have it um, hosted so what we need is a plugin called uh, JSON API and uh, what you need to do is install this uh, I will not go through the installation steps because uh, I mean I'm sure you know how to install your plugins so once you install it, you will find it under settings JSON API, okay? And uh, it's very straightforward. You, you just install it and it works from right at the bat. So here you have a few options that you can activate. Uh, the core part of the plugin is more like a read uh, access and those ones are more... Um, like create access so i've just uh, activated the read uh, i'm not going to do anything else from that api but read uh, which posts uh, and the other information i want from the wordpress site but it's up to you what you actually need um, so let's try this out and see what it does uh, we want to get a list of all the posts so this is the one that we need by clicking on it what it will do, the plugin already gives you the entire address. This is a key that you will configure yourself. And here you have all the data you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this URL, go back to Power BI, and we're going to get data from web. Even if it's a JSON format, it works better from web. So when it's ready, this is what you will get. You click on list. You transform this into a table. And then you expand. And then you get uh, like really nice information about your website. You get um, the URL, you get the status if it's published or not you get titles you get the content definitely don't need that you get dates when it was modified and then i mean you, you, you have categories you have the authors you have the actual comments you have the comment count for every post thumbnails if you want to show them uh, if there is a specific thumbnail for a post this is just really really nice now you've noticed that we only have a 10 rows and the reason for that is that by default this only returns 10 posts so if we want to change that we have to change the actual URL in the beginning and we have to add the number of rows or a post that we actually want to get let's say we want to get 50 
and then you get them, okay? So remember that, because otherwise you will only get 10. I will post a link to the plugin, because here it is the entire documentation, so you can read what you can actually do and uh, what are the limits and all this kind of stuff. So it is pretty, pretty well documented, I would say. Mm, so we go back to Power BI. With the right WordPress posts, for example, send in, and now we are ready. So, with that information, you can start creating your own uh, dashboards. You can, for example, combine this data with Google Analytics data if you have it, and then you will be able to see. When do you publish a post, uh, would, uh, does it drive any extra traffic or uh, is there any author that is uh, driving more traffic to your site? Than, uh, um, well, you see where I'm going, right? Uh, you will be able to do a lot, of, a lot of great things with it. We will be posting the sample dashboard, so they're not ready yet, but stay tuned because in the coming weeks we will be publishing um, a WordPress uh, Google Analytics dashboard that I think you'll like. Let's add mm, title and uh, comments. Now that with the comment list, uh, you have to clean. You have to clean this up. Uh, comment count. So, so this is one thing you can do, okay, which type of posts are uh, driving more engagement, that people are comment commenting more on it. Okay, this is it for today. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and uh, you will be doing tons of great analysis together with uh, Google Analytics. Uh, if you like the video, as usual, uh, let me know by liking it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels that are listed in the description box. And uh, subscribe, I publish uh, every week. Yeah, great things about Power BI, DAX, uh, tips and tricks. Have a great evening. Bye.